Let's click it and see what happens. It put me a little higher. It did put me a little higher. Well, I'm going to bypass destroying all those things now. Ooh, how am I getting up over there? There's no way. Because if I do that, I'm going to fall in the lava. They expect me to jump to that? Maybe not. There's stairs. Hold that thought. There's a button right there. Am I supposed to shoot something at it? This room confuses me. There's no grappling hook from this one. Ren Smash! What's up? What's up, Lance? What's up, man? I feel like I'm missing something here. Not in here. All right, that leads me over to here, which is the first door that I unlocked. Location above. Hmm. There's no more grappling hooks out here that I can see. Grappling hooks here. So I'm obviously missing something with this. Because there's definitely a button to click on that door. But the question is, how do I click it? Like, I don't have anything to throw at it. And it didn't react to me. Can I move these or something? Or jump up there, like make some blocks to jump up or something? I have no idea what I could possibly do to get up there. Let me make some arrows. Oh, I don't have any twigs to make arrows. Well, I'm not sure what I could use to get up there. Yeah, it definitely doesn't do anything. I'm afraid if I jump onto the lava, it's going to toast me, and there's no way I'm jumping over there to that. And if I die, I wonder if lava is an instant death. We're about to find out. Ah! It's not instant. That's good. Oh, it only takes a little bit. Is there any way I can make that jump? No, I don't think there's any way for me to make that jump. But I bet I can make it from up there. Hold that thought. Ha ha ha! I win. All right, there's definitely something I can go over here. Oh shit, my stamina is almost done! That's not good. That's not good. Oh! Eat your food. Eat your food. <laughs> bandage. Can I apply a bandage? Oh, that goes way faster. Okay. Well, at least I know... Yeah, we need to take some water, get some extra stamina. Let's try that again. No! No! Get up! Get up! Get up! I panicked. That was me panicking. 
All right. Um, okay, so there's... So I can't do anything with that button yet. That's going to be a run and jump. Okay. Okay. Oh, another chamber. With another door that I can't do anything with. That's lovely. Woo! Okay, so there's all sorts of doors here. Oh my god, this is platforming platforming for the win all right um see i know that these the question is how do you press them there's got to be a way to do that they haven't taught me that yet how to press the buttons without you know being at the button So here's a button I can press. Not sure which one that did. Anything over here? Nope. Chest. Flint arrow? I'll take it, because now I can actually use my bow. Oh, that's how that works. So those... Okay. Okay. I got it. So that's just secret buttons that are hidden that you have to figure out where they are to press to unlock the doors. Makes total sense. I was thinking those were things I had to figure out how to press. Um, like, somehow with an ability or something. Alright, well that's good to know. Alright, so there are... You can use a sprint jump to cover more distance. Sprint and take on a run up before jumping to land on seemingly out of reach. So what's the purpose of that? That's probably going to be a lock or something that I can get to. Oh, I'm going to die. Die horrible death. There's probably a button up there that I need to click. Can I make that jump from here? Oh, 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 I totally did. All right, let's regenerate and... Yep, there's the other button, which will lead me to that chest. Ooh, that kind of height. That height a little bit. All right, that led me to this. Oh, a ring of endless life. 3% life leaf chance. Created the pursuit of immortality. It costs countless lives. I'm taking it. Give it to me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Give it to me, baby. Equip it. Hang on. Do I have an another one that I need to unequip? I do. Unequip. Hang on, hang on. I'm learning the keyboard thingy again. N, here, unequip, equip. Aha! So, okay. That worked. Okay. All 
All right. All right, let's do this again. Fireball charges. So it's interesting how your spells have charges. So you're going to have to collect more of those charges to make those work. Good to know. Okay, Ancient Spire, Springlands, Fast Travel. So we just unlocked that. Metal Sheets, oh yeah. Hashtag worth it. Uh oh! That's gonna do something when I click on it, probably. Just double checking there's no um bone meal. I want to make sure there's no um chest or anything in here before I click that. Commune with the flame. These ancient spires open fast travel points all over the world and reveal ancient knowledge of Imbervale. Venture forth, child. The land must be reclaimed. So it, it gives me... This reminds me of the towers in um, Assassin's Creed, right? And also in Shadows of Wardor and Shadows of War. Like, every time you would explore a tower, um, you would get more waypoints unlocked around you. So yeah, it's given me more elixir wells to clear. Hell yeah. The elixir wells all have like boss mobs at the bottom. And then there's flame sanctums that I need to get. Wow. There's a ton. There's tons of stuff. It even shows me... I've already been down to that one. But I can fast travel to it. So that's given me these three. There's an elixir well there. And those are the ones you've already done. Cool. Well, I want to go back because... I need to make my glider. You can have four craftspeople, it looks like. Five. Okay. Searching for hidden tombs. Rumors hint that the existence of a hidden tomb in the Springlands find location just into the depths of the catacombs and bring home the loot. Show on the map. That's north of me. That's not for right now. We're going to fast travel back to my home waypoint. The ancient vaults contain voices silenced by the shroud, yet some sparks still linger flicking in the dark. A hunter, once the fiercest in the land, and an alchemist with knowledge of the ages. Awaken them, for they will help you along your journey. <laughs> so that's going to be other people I can bring to my settlement. Yep, there's an ancient vault with an alchemist. And there's an ancient vault with a hunter. Alright, so we've been given all sorts of new waypoints to explore along the way. Alright. However, um, I want to make a glider. Let's go ahead and rest until morning. Sleep.
Okay, there's the daytime. You, sir, make me a glider. Or is that going to be something I make at the... At the I'm guessing that's made at the um, work sh workbench. Oh, is that a bad dude? Dude, what are you doing? Why are you near? Why are you near my home? Glider. This is what I need to make next. All right, let's write. Th oh, I don't have nearly any shroud wood. I don't think I've come across shroud wood. Where the heck do you find shroud wood? Yeah, the shroud wood I don't I don't know how to find yet. Um, do I even have any? Take all the twigs. Um, move. Quick move. Okay. right here. Delete. Um, Shepherd's Staff. I mean, I do kind of want to see what the spells look like, so let me hold that thought a minute. I want to try something, because I haven't, haven't got to try spells yet. Uh, let's try Fireball. I think I have to have this equipped. I don't think it can be in my inventory, but let's, let's check it out and see. Shepherd's Staff. Why does it have a weird sound coming from it? Oh, so that's definitely charging up a fireball. And that's manually aiming it. And then otherwise you would just cast it. Okay, but it burns up a charge, yeah? Yeah. I have 20 charges. Yeah, it burned up a staff. So you gotta have charges to do that. I wonder if you can craft charges later on. Well. Good to know. All right, so I'm never gonna use that probably for the moment. I'll go ahead and salvage it. So spirit increases your mana pool? Okay. Crafting. I should be able to make basic um, arrows just from here. Twigs. I thought I had twigs. Did I put them back in my inventory? Or put them, hang on. Yeah, I accidentally put them back. <laughs> um, where did I put all the twigs? There they are. OK. 
Okay, that gives me 50 arrows. Shroudwood is in the shroud, says William. Oh, so I need to go down into the shroud and harvest it? We'll hold that thought. Because there's a shroud stuff area right down over in here somewhere. I know it was over here by the bridge. So you're saying I should be able to chop down one of those trees in the shroud. And get shroud wood. I'll be damned. Shroudwood. I did not know that. Thank you very much for that tip. So this is going to get me my glider. Okay. Well, let's do some more of this really quick while we're down in here. I don't remember how much I needed, so we're just going to chop a few tree down go back. Surely that's enough. 20? I'll make, I'll, I'll get some more just in case. flows downhill. Everything just falls. All right. All right, get one more and I think that's enough. Let's boogie back to our base. Oh, why can't I fast travel? Cannot fast travel from within the shroud. Oh. Gonna make me work for it. All right. Glider, we need. I'm gonna write this down so I don't have to keep looking back at my things. I need times two animal fur, times two string, times two spores. All right, let's take a look here because I know I've got all the supplies. Even if I don't have the string, I have the fibers. Uh, animal fur? Let's just take that. Um, spores. And I need string, which is going to be fiber. Okay. I think all I have to do is make a couple of string. Glider, here we go. Making my first glider, everybody. Now, is that an equipped piece of something, or is it equip? Oh, I've got it. All right, now, now, now we need to find something tall. So how about we go back to that tower we were at, fast travel to it. I don't know how I'm using, I don't know how to use the, the thing yet. 
I'm assuming it just automatically deploys when you jump off. If it doesn't, we're in for a rude surprise. Oh, okay. Woo! Oh shit, that scared me. Okay, okay. How do I how do I go up? No, stop, stop. Wow. Alright, there's there's definitely a learning curve with this thing. But that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Let's do that again. Alright, alright, alright. I got it. I got it. So it's not an automatic deployment. Start gliding. Alright. And then you can dive bomb if you want. Alright. Ah! Alright. Well, that's a really cool additional feature, everybody. We'll do one more just for good luck. <laughs> don't, be, yeah, don't pick up a sta don't run out of stamina or you become a rock. Yeah, this this reminds me of uh Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Alright. Cool beans, man. Alright, that's going to help immensely with traveling now. Look at those views, man. And it's all voxel, baby. That's, that's what's mind-blowing to me. Cool. Alright, folks. I'm definitely adding Enshrouded to the rotation. It's official. I already put out the first episode. I did a first impressions video this morning. And then I did um, the first episode of the Let's Play Enshrouded series before I went live today. And episode two is coming out later this afternoon. And then I'll be continuing to cut episodes out of these live streams. We're going to be adding this to the official rotation for February and March. And more than likely, we're going to be doing some multiplayer with our gaming community. We're going to see who wants to come play. Don't know a schedule for that yet, so just stay tuned. There's lots more of this coming out of the pipeline. In intermixed with, of course, ongoing World of Warcraft. Um, doing some old Baldur's Gate 3 still. Uh, still dabbling with Dragon's Dogma two, uh, 1 as we work towards Dragon's Dogma 2. And checking out other stuff um, on Game Pass and beyond for the First Impressions series. I'm very pleased with this. So I'm going to be sinking my teeth pretty heavy into this over the next few days. Especially over the week, the rest of this week and into the weekend. Because I want to be able to start putting out some guides for this game and some other stuff. So I really need to do some R&D and learn some more. But I've already had some great tips today. Thanks Prox for all the... For the tips, William as well, everybody else who is uh, providing me with tips and tricks on how to do all these things. I really appreciate it as I learn how to play this game. Don't forget, multi-streaming. Every time you see me live, I am live on YouTube and Twitch, so you can watch where you want to watch. And if you want to support, thanks to those of you who do, because it does keep me on the air full-time. I don't make a ton of money, but I do make a living at YouTube, so thanks to those of you who support. Super Chats! On live streams or one-off donations, join if you want to join as a member, get access to cool member videos. I'm going to upload a member video right now that I've already recorded this morning. And if you're on Twitch, it's bits, cheers, and subs. Again, thanks to all of the, those of you who do support because it does pay my bills and keep me going full time. We'll have more of this today, and then at, as we go on throughout the day, there's some World of Warcraft stuff scheduled, some more Enshrouded stuff scheduled, and I've already got the videos out for tomorrow, and I've got to get a couple of movie reviews written down, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, happy gaming, everybody.